Hey everybody, happy Tuesday and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and this is Lynn's Wonderful World of Makeup and More. Today is Tuesday, so we are going to be doing the Tuesday tryouts. I am going to be creating a look trying out the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette along with the K Voss Highlighter palette <clears throat> and the brushes that I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I was originally going to try out the Nomad highlighter that I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag, but when I got this palette in my Glam Bag Plus yesterday, I decided to go for that. And for the first time in a long time, I am going to be trying out a drugstore mascara. If you want to see what look I can create with these things and how I think they perform, then stay tuned. Don't make us who we are. So I'll dream until I make it real and all the see is Welcome back everyone. Like I said, hi, my name is Lynn and this is Lynn's Wonderful World of Makeup and More. For those of you that are new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy this content and you will choose to click the subscribe button. When you do, make sure you turn on your notification bell. That way you get notified each and every time I upload some new content because I do upload often. We have loads of fun over here on this channel and I do a variety of things such as unboxings, tutorials, try-ons, first impressions, collabs, uh, empties, hauls giveaways, pretty much anything that has to do with makeup and fun I like to do. I have a few uh, weekly series that I do. I have my Monday morning mask, uh, my Tuesday tryouts, um, and I am going back to doing my uh, show support Sundays with my creator of the week. Um, I also am going to be uh, starting back up with my monthly giveaway however that is going to be going a little bit different i will give you the deets on that when the time comes uh but in today's video we are going to be doing the tuesday tryouts uh, i am going to be creating a look with the lime crime venus 3 palette um i got this i think in boxycharm uh, but i have not used it yet uh, for those of you that don't know what it looks like, that is what the palette looks like. Um, for me, this is pretty toned down for um, what I have been uh, getting into lately, but it still has some pops of color in there. Of course, my purples. Um, and I know originally I had told you all I was going to uh, try out the Nomad Highlighter that I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag, but when I unboxed my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus yesterday, um, I got an extra item in there that uh, I didn't know was coming in my bag. I got six items instead of five, and the sixth item was this k -Voss New York uh, Hay Haylighter Luminous Highlighter Palette. And that is what it looks like. And if you guys watched the video and saw the swatches, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I am dying to try this out. I am also going to be using the set, the set of brushes that I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. These are the uh, uh, Shayna B. Miami Eyes on Miami uh, brush set. And for the first time in a long time, I am going to be trying out a drugstore mascara. This is the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara, the Mega Plus version. Um, I have not used a drugstore mascara, I think, since uh, before I started uh, doing my channel. I have gotten so many in my subscription boxes that I have had no need to buy it. As you guys can see, I have already set my face. Um, for my primer, I used the Sophia and Mabel I Woke Up Like This Skin Perfecting Primer. Um, I got this in an add-on in Ipsy uh, a few months back. It was like a $3 uh, for the add-on, and then this is considered full size. They say it goes for $16. Um, I'm almost out of it, which is the main reason why uh, I chose to use it today. I'm trying to pan as much as possible. Um, it's okay. It's not one of my favorite primers. You guys know that I really love my uh, NYX Marshmallow Primer. That is my absolute favorite one to use. And then, of course, I like uh, my Ciate London uh, Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. 
Um, for my concealer, I used my go-to, which is my uh, Laura Geller Baked Radiance Cream Concealer in the shade Light. I absolutely love that concealer. It is my favorite. Uh, and for my powder, I used my uh, Bella Pierre Banana Setting Powder. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I got this in my AIA box last month, and I don't know if you guys can see, but I am already almost out of it. I am definitely going to have to get some more of that. Uh, I will, oh, for my uh, foundation, I, I should have told you that first. Um, I used the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation. Um, I like it very much um it is not full coverage like i usually wear but i do really like that foundation um and for my eyebrows i used i just had it right here my bella pierre um i eyebrow pencil uh that came in the aia box as well i have set my eyes with my abh eye primer um, I am almost out of it. I am so sad, but luckily it was uh, a choice item for the Ipsy Glam Bag. So when I get my uh, my Ipsy Glam Bag uh, for this month, because you guys know I get two Glam Bags and two Glam Bag X's. One of them is my Besties profile. I chose the ABH as my choice product, so I am so happy because I just squeezed like the last little bit out of there. I don't think I can get any more out of it. Um... But uh, let's get started because this might take a minute since I'm trying out three new products. Um, as you, like I said, I'm using the Lime Crime uh, Venus Three Palette. I absolutely love the packaging on this; it is beautiful. And these are the shades. I am going to um, swatch it real quick to let you guys see what the swatches look like now you guys know I am not the best at swatching but I am going to try to give you guys some idea about what we are going to be working with uh, that is the top row right there uh, the one shade is really really light uh, because it is a uh, it's just a light color uh, so we have the rapture the heavenly the beam the beam is the color that you can barely see it is a very uh light pink shimmer and then uh we have dreamy right here on the end and for the bottom row i'm going to do that very very quickly if you want to see the swatches of the highlighter you can pull up my ipsy uh glam bag plus unboxing that I did last night, and you will be able to see it. So we are going to go like that. That is the Beloved. And then we have Bliss. Of course, the purple is Paradise. And the final shade in there is Ecstasy. Sorry about the way that purple swatched, guys. I told you guys I am not the best at swatching. I did that a little crooked. And I am trying not to uh, take up uh, half of your day for you to watch this video. Um, like I said, I am going to be trying out the brushes that I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. These are the Shayna, uh, Shayna B Miami Eyes on Miami 5-Piece Eye Brush Set. Um, I am super excited about this. Every brush that I have, I have a, a couple of her brushes. I have never gotten a set, but I do love her brushes that I have gotten in the past. So I am super excited about trying these out. I am trying to figure out uh, what I want to use for um, for my for my uh, transition shade, and I think what I am going to do is um i'm going to go in with rapture first which is this light uh tan shade right here um i may decide i may decide uh to 
go in with the dreamy, I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm not doing anything super spectacular. Um, I'm just doing the back and forth motion in my crease and of course a little bit above because I have hooded eyes. Um, and if I don't bring it above, then the shade gets lost in the crease. Um, I can say that uh, just this one shade, it is laying down nicely, um, and they did feel nice when I was swatching them. I don't have uh, very many Lime Crime eyeshadow palettes. As a matter of fact, I think I only have one other one, and it is uh, a Venus XS, I do believe. It's a little four quad that somebody gave me a long time ago before I ever even started my channel. Um, I got it in a box that a YouTuber had sent me that I was following. So, um, that's a pretty, I think that might be pretty decent for a transition color. Um, but I do think that I want to, um, go ahead and um, take that dreamy, the dreamy is this one right here, it's kind of a little darker uh, one, and I'm just going to go over just a little bit, because I want it to be a little bit bolder, um, I thought this was going to be a more neutral palette, but I think this might still work out to be colorful, um, I will do a uh, neutral look with this palette. I know lately I have been doing a lot of colorful looks and I've gotten away from uh, the neutral ones. I, I think I'm going to go back to doing what I was doing um, where I was doing one colorful look and one neutral look to show the versatility of the palettes. Um, and what I am going to do next is I am going to take that Purple Paradise. You guys know that purple is my jam. I had to go with the purple. Um, I really, really, really intended to do a neutral look, but I just don't see that happening after once I saw this purple. Uh, but I am going to take uh, the Paradise, and I am just going to put that in the outer V of my eye. Um, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit uh, into my crease. I don't want it to bring it all the way over. I just want them to blend together uh, a little seamlessly. I don't want uh, to have a, a noticeable uh, gap where the dreamy stops and the paradise starts um as you can see this these are very pigmented as well and they are blending together very very nicely um i promise guys i will do a neutral look with this palette i fully intended to do a neutral look and for some reason i thought that this palette was more neutral than what it is. Um, I did know that that pop of purple was in there, but um, I did not realize, f for some reason, I thought all the other colors were basically neutral. Um, so I have those two in there, and I want to take my blending brush and just this is a clean blending brush. I don't have any product on it. And I just want to go back and forth a little bit and uh, make that a nice, smooth uh, transition. Um, I'm not going to put on... Uh, I'm not going to put lay anything down for the cut crease. Um... I'm trying to decide if I want to put the Heaven, which is the gold, in there, or if I want to try the beam. Um, I think I'm going to try the beam 
because I'll probably use the heavenly um, when I do the more neutral look. Now I am just going to take the beam and go straight in with my finger. Um, I didn't bring any setting spray in here to spray the shimmer and um, it's usually a lot easier to get the color to uh, go down the way you want it to with your finger, at least in my experience. That's my opinion. Um, and when I do use a brush, I like to spray it regardless of <clears throat> the brand <clears throat> that I, the brand of eyeshadow that I am using. I spray it always just to, um, kind of, that way I always have the same, I give it all, them all the same, uh, equal chance to perform. And I have an, uh, kind of same standard when I'm judging it. Um, that beam is very, very light, but I think it will work with the, uh, colors that I have. I am going to go back in and just add a slight bit more of that purple, the paradise, to uh, bring it together. And I'm just adding it to the outer corner. And then once again, I am going to take uh, that clean blending brush and just pull it across a little bit. Um, usually I do uh, put something underneath of my eye. I don't know that I want to do that today or if I just want to keep this kind of a basic look. I think I am. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the paradise and just run that right underneath of my waterline. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it all the way across. Um, most of the time I like to use two different colors when I'm going underneath of my eye. But that is because I have been going with very colorful looks lately as you guys that have been watching my videos can tell i kind of went ham i don't know i guess um transitioning from the fall palettes into the summer and springtime palettes i got super happy with all the bright colors um but i am like i said i am going to go back to the way i was doing it before where i do one kind of neutral look and one colorful look with the palettes if it is possible <clears throat> sorry guys my leg is bothering me today um so um i think it is actually looking pretty uh nice um now generally i would take um, a color from in here and use that in my brow bone and in my inner corner but looking at the colors that I have if I was going to do that beam would have been the color that I would have used so since I used that already uh, on my lid I'm going to take the uh, K-Voss 
highlighter palette that I got in my Glam Bag Plus, and I am going to take the, um, ow, sorry guys, my leg is really bothering me. I'm going to take the, the, uh, white ivory, uh, shade, and that is what I am going to use in my brow bone. I'm trying to go in kind of light-handed at first because I noticed that when I swatched them last night that um, I went in rather heavy-handed because they didn't look like they were going to be uh, as bold as they turned out to be um, once I swatched them and that's what made me want to try it out instead of going with the Nomad one that I got in my regular Ipsy Glam Bag. Uh, not to mention that I did look at you guys' comments and there were quite a few of you that said that you would rather see me try out this highlighter palette than the Nomad one. Um, I think for keeping it simple, this is going to be nice. Uh, it does match well with uh, what I already have uh, working. I'm going to go back in with that brush that I had the purple on and just blend a little bit and bring it up a bit higher. Like I said, I do have hooded eyes, so if I don't do that, uh, my color gets lost. Um, I am going to pause the camera right now, and um, I am going to uh, figure out which eyeliner I want to use. When I come back onto the camera, we will try out the mascara, and I will use the highlighter um, on my cheeks, and we will see what it looks like from there. I will be right back. Okay, everybody, so I am back. Basically, all I did was uh, I went in and put some eyeliner on. I originally was going to, well, I went, I did go in with this purple uh, from my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner Collection, um, but uh, I don't think it showed up very well, so I went back and grabbed my ever-faithful Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in the shade 0. Just a simple black eyeliner. Um, and the mascara that I am going to be trying out is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. Like I said, it has been probably two years since I used a drugstore mascara. So we are going to see... You guys know I have been stuck on the Pat McGrath uh, fetish eyes that we got in the Glam Bag X back in February. Uh, for those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know I'm always complaining about my eyelashes, seeing how thin and sparse they are. However, I have been using the uh, Babe Eyelash Serum, and it's been... Uh, almost three months now that I have been using it and I can tell you I see significant change in the length of my lashes. I am not too sure that um, I see any that they've gotten any thicker but they have indeed gotten longer and I can tell you guys right now that I do not like this mascara at all. I don't like it. Um, I don't see where it is doing anything. Please, I, I don't see where it is doing any shit. Stop. It is doing anything for my eyelashes other than adding a little bit of color. It is not adding any volume at all so I most definitely
probably will never ever touch that mascara again unless um, I am in dire need and it is the only thing that I have. Luckily, I have my Pat McGrath fetish always on hand and I am going to go and fix that fiasco that I just had with that Maybelline plush. Uh, it was not the Maybelline mascara itself. It could be the type of applicator that it had. It was not one that I usually tend to gravitate to. But if you guys can see, it is already a dramatic difference um, just with one layer of the Pat McGrath. So sometimes um, I do have to say, you get what you pay for. You uh, There are a lot of good products that come from the drugstore, uh, makeup products. Do not get me wrong by any means. Uh, Elf, uh, Maybelline itself, a lot of those uh, companies make um, amazing products. That mascara, however, just was not one of them. Can you guys see the difference already just with that one layer? Um, I don't want to take too much time with that trying to fix that mascara, though, um, because I want to, like I said, this is the highlighter that we are going to use, and I think what I'm going to do is, is I am going to go ahead and I am going to use the, um, I'm wondering if I should, because you have the, I have the ivory, and then, or, well, it's sugar and spice and everything nice is actually what the colors are. You got sugar, spice, and everything nice. Um, obviously, the sugar is the, uh, ivory one and that is the one that I am going to go ahead and put on for my highlighter um now I can say I don't necessarily think that it is going on as beautifully as it did when I swatched it with which usually it's the reverse. Usually a swatch may not turn out as well, at least in my experience. But then again, I am seeing it. Uh, it may just be the lighting that I have in here right now. Um, and I also do not have on the uh, full coverage foundation that I usually have. So, um, I do have, still have a little bit of a dark undertone, um, under my eye because the, uh, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter is not full coverage, so that could be, um, what I am noticing as well. Because I am noticing that as I am placing the highlighter in the areas that I would generally put my highlighter, um, it is turning out rather nicely. I am also going to use that in the inner corner of my eye. I am going to pause once again and go off and do my uh, blush and my lipstick, and I will be right back with the final look. Okay, guys, so I am back, and I have completed my look. Uh, I went in with my pretty vulgar uh, blush in the shade Prim Vixen. You guys know this is one of my absolute favorites. And for my lipstick, I used my Lorac in Brunch Queen. And I went over it with my Pat McGrath Lavendering uh, just to give it the sparkle that I wanted uh, and to have it uh, match up a little bit better with the shade that is on my eyes. Um, so as for my opinion of the tryout, I absolutely love the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. Uh, the, I only used three shades, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Tomorrow in my, um, 
in my Wednesday video, I will do a neutral look with this palette as well. Like I said, I'm going to start doing it like I used to, one side colorful and one side neutral. I just have to go somewhere today and I don't want to have to redo my makeup. Um, as for the highlighter, uh, I do think that it is absolutely gorgeous, um, but I am not sure that um, it is as as bright as I thought as highlight as I thought it was going to be now I can see that as I keep doing it I am building it up um, and so I could get the intensity that I wanted to um, if I sat here and played around with it um, I did use it in the inner corner of my eye and I really don't think that uh, it is showing up that well. Um, I don't know, maybe because I've been using the Glam Light Sugar Rush and that one is really, really popping. Maybe that's what it is. I do like this highlighter palette, don't get me wrong, and I will be using it a lot. Um, uh, but like I said, as for the mascara, it's an epic fail. I am just absolutely in love with my Pat McGrath fetish eyes. Um, I do not like the, I did not like the applicator on it. I do not even think you could tell that I put anything on my eyes. You could see an immediate difference when I went and reached for my Pat McGrath. So this is my completed look that I did. Uh, drop down in the comments below and tell me what you think. Um, have any of you guys used the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette? What do you guys think about it? Um, how do you guys uh, think this highlighter palette preformed? If you watched the video last night and saw the swatches versus me actually using it, um, like I said, it could be because of the foundation. I usually use a full, full coverage foundation. I did go with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I like that foundation, but however, it is not full, full coverage. So that could be the difference. It could just be me um, adjusting to not using my normal foundation. Um, I think this look turned out fairly well. Um, it was very simple. Um, and like I said, um, I will in my um, Wild Card Wednesday, whatever I do tomorrow, I will make sure that I do a neutral look with this palette as well. And from here on out, if you guys want to uh, let me know down below, I can go back and I will start doing a colorful look and a neutral look so we can not only see the versatility of the palettes, but we can also um, get to use more of the colors to see how they perform. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today for my Tuesday tryouts. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the look I created. Um, I think it is absolutely uh, beautiful, but of course it's purple, and purple is my jam, so I'm going to be uh, in love with it. Um, drop down in the comments below, let me know um, if there's anything that you guys would like to see me try uh, for the Tuesday tryouts. Uh, like I said, I will do my best to uh, incorporate the, the things that you guys want to see into the videos. Um, I should have... Um, I have uh, another glam, glam Bag X, I mean Glam Bag Plus, another regular Glam Bag, a Boxy Charm, and a Boxy Charm coming. I also have a Box Box coming with um, some Laura Mercier um, products in it. And I did get my uh, Baby Face uh, Sheet Mask subscription box in that I will be unboxing later today. Um, but that's all I have for you guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the brushes. I absolutely love the brushes. I reached for this one. This is one of my Shana B Miami brushes that I got in a previous thing. These brushes are amazing. I love the way they perform. Uh, they blended it well. I had absolutely no problem. Once again, Shana B Miami. These brushes are amazing and I am absolutely stoked that I got these in my Glam Bag Plus. Um, if you are new here, please smash that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell,
For those of you that have stayed with me this long, you guys rock. You are so, so awesome. I am working on something for uh, my 300 subscriber giveaway. Like I said, it kind of came out of nowhere, and um, I need a minute to get it together. Uh, if everybody could go over and rate the video, if you guys like it when I do the Tuesday tryouts and I try on new products for you guys, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the Tuesday tryouts and you want me to do something different, you can give me a thumbs down and drop a suggestion in the comment box to let me know what you would rather see. Uh, I value everybody's opinion, but that's all I have for you guys today. So until next time, stay beautiful, stay blessed. If nobody else told you, I'm going to tell you you are loved and you are special. Love and hugs, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!